Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Barry. Today, I'm gonna wrap this Lexus RCF passenger side door. Uh, you know, it's essentially pretty flat, so it should be pretty easy, I would assume. Uh, there's some things that we gotta do first. We gotta remove the mirror, and we gotta remove the inside door card. And then we also have to remove the handle. I'll show you those steps. But before I start, I wanna get some measurements on how long this wrap piece is going to be. Now, I am going to go from the bottom the top looks like 29 inches right there. I'm gonna go with 29 inches because you want to leave some extra. And then let's see for the lengthwise. Start for the width. Always oh, at the top right there, so we're looking at a good five feet. So the roll itself is five foot, so I guess I'll just measure out 29 and I'll just cut from there. Rubber grommet right here. So remove this, this Lexus OEM screwdriver. All right, so nothing. Next step is remove this. So what we'll do is stick something in plastic inside. Okay, the, cover, the cover's gonna come off. We'll remove the screw that's inside. And then next one is gonna put a card in here. This is the best way to protect this carbon fiber. I'm gonna put this right there through. And then I'm gonna shove one of these in there. Okay, there. And there, you can s safely, slowly remove this carbon fiber piece. After that, you're gonna wanna uh, unplug all this. So, that's one. Remove this, put somewhere safe. And then, we have some more stuff we gotta remove, but we have to remove the door car stuff. So you have one screw right there, and then you have another screw right there. There's also an important step to remove this right here to get to the axis of that. Once you got all that, you want to put your fingers through and you're going to pop it open. Once you pop it open, you're going to lift up. Once you lift up, be careful, hold it right here. In there, you're going to start removing all the little wires. With the door light that needs to come out, we have... This right here, this is all the uh, the wiring. So just know that the green's on the bottom and your, your white cable is on top. And then you have some more connections over there to remove and you have removed successfully. So one thing that absolutely needs to happen is the window needs to go up in order for you to access the door, um, the head door handle, but you can access the mirror right here, which is kind of weird. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this back in, leave it there for now. Uh, just to have some trolls. Another step I forgot to mention is that we have to take this off. So all you have to do is just peel it back towards you to remove this door window sill. Easy, just like that. This next step is going to remove these three bolts, three nuts, I mean, sorry, with a 10 millimeter. Recommend loosening it and then just using your hands after that because you don't want this ratchet or the 10 millimeter to fall in. And then just remove all the way. Um, you have to push the wire behind through. We do have to remove this white cover. There, you'll see the, the cable. You're gonna push it all the way through. And then once you push it all the way through, you can finally remove the mirror. Grab this black piece to get rid, we're gonna move the handle. So, got that. The next you need is a T30, T30. Inside your door, you're gonna go into, grab this white thing. Uh, grab it, and you're gonna pinch and do it again, okay? So let me do it again. Pinch and do that. At this point, you got that inside, you got the side, you're gonna... All right. And then release. And then you just release everything here. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. And then, you know,
just like that. So what I did was I lift it up here, here, and I did, I put it in there and click it. You use your T30, release the, the torque, and then you're going to pull that out. I decided to lay the top part first, um, that way I can work my way down. Uh, but you might need some heat because of the wrap, but other than that, you should be okay. I'm just gonna hand lay everything. Heat is your friend. There's a hole here too.
that's something. Cutting out the keyhole. Luckily, this is all be covered up by some sort of rubber. For the door, top of the door, I suggest leaving at least half an inch because the door window trim is going to cover it anyway. So. I'm going to leave half an inch, I'm sorry, quarter inch, free cut it, free hand cut it, because I think it needs a lot of tuck. It needs a lot more tuck than what cutting it against the back of the fender can do. At this point, I'm going to just tuck in what I can with the squeegee. The squeegee goes insert. This is the final piece. Put the window trim back on, cut that out. All that is tucked. All that is tucked. Always leave, I would definitely consider not cutting from the back here, but leaving a quarter inch that we can tuck in behind the door. Yep. Gasket covers a lot of things, so got that area. Yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna teach you guys how to wrap. The door handle one piece uh, is a piece, but you need your heat gun on the whole time. So I'm just gonna give it some base real quick. Okay. Okay. So you got the the flat part. That's where you want to begin. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna fold 
the under part first and then cut it and then the top part goes over. That way you don't feel the seam. So you need some heat for this one. too much so I'm gonna have to cut it off. Cut a lot of this stuff off. first so as soon as you do that um, what you can start doing is start trimming this area first and I'm not even cutting into deep into it I'm just making a superficial line so I can rip it out. Once you found yourself setting everything in place already, you're going to want to start trimming everything. So inside. So let's go for the top first. Alright. It's more space to tuck like this. Bam. No legs. Okay, now let's uh, cut ourselves an uh, inside line. So I'm going to cut it right here. I should be able to just hand by hand. Uh, see that? It's cutting only the surface. Well, actually, you want to cut the outer, outer line for this one. Okay. See, just like that. <laughs> to make it easier, because it's so flat, this most straightest edge, the most straight edge you want to put against, because you don't have to cut that much. So yeah, you don't have to cut that much. Hell, you could even, you can even do it almost where you could tuck that part in. See, that's all you gotta do. Outside should be easy, it's pretty flat, you just cover it up. Okay, here we go. 
done. No, I'm just going to... Okay. The inside part is always the hardest. It just is how it is. But you're still going to need your heat gun for this, believe it or not. Okay. Looking, looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to... As long as we covered it, you can see the line. And now we're going to start cutting the rest of it off. You don't really need that much. Again, I'm only doing the surface. I'm only doing the surface cuts. I got my line right there. Yep, takes a lot of focus. Bam. Okay. Nice. See, that's why you want to do an overlap going on the inside because you can see the white right here, which is, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, I'm just gonna clip the rest of these out. So, one thing I noticed cutting before is that you have a gasket. If you just cut on top of the gasket, it will give you exactly the amount that you need left to start tucking. Do what you can with what you can first. Everything else is good. All the seams. Good to go. All right guys, thanks for watching today's video. Today's video is about, I don't know, just me showing you how I guess I wrap this thing. So anyways guys, if you guys have any questions or just want to watch more entertainment, thank you for watching. But anyways guys, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Peace.